job unfortunately uh, not the quite the way you wanted to start the uh, home campaign here against the eight losing four nil what are your first thoughts of the game um you know first half obviously we go down early to a to a, to a bad goal you know a poor goal um and a big deflection and uh we didn't really recover from that you know and, and it's not good enough simple as that it's not good enough um, i think they what well, fair play to yate congratulations to yate um they did the basics a lot better than us tonight and i think uh that's what you've got to do that's a bare minimum and we didn't do that nowhere near well enough tonight um you know we created enough chances to to win a couple of games tonight but we were never going to score tonight we still are being now we we're never going to score but you make your own luck you know and that's by doing the nasty stuff well and we didn't do it we were nowhere near it and then you've got to defend better have to defend better 1v1s you know very difficult to legislate for that as a management team but you know that's where we are I mean, um, yeah. Again, another another goal conceded within the opening minutes, um, twice. Now. Exactly. You can't chase the game in this league continually. You know, not a, not against good sides. You can't do it. You can't do it. You've got to take personal responsibility. Simple as that. And everybody's got to be accountable. Me, and those lot, the rest of the management team. Everybody's got to be accountable. And looking back on it, is there anything you would have changed tactic, tactic, tactically? I don't um, think so. I think sometimes tactics goes out the window with this sort of game. You know, you've got to go out and apply yourself. You've got to work hard. Head, kick, tackle, run. You do those things, we've got enough technical ability in this team to go and beat most teams in this league. But if you don't do that properly, it's not going to happen for you. It, 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 it's certainly not at this level. And obviously with the firepower you've got up front, obviously you've gone two games without without scoring a goal yet. Obviously you had, had so many goals scored yeah, within pre-season. Absolutely, sometimes they have those little spells. Hopefully we're having our little spell now. Hopefully it'll be a wake-up call you know, to everybody. You know, They've just been told in uncertain terms. And uh, you can't feel sorry for yourself. You've got to you've got to be a man about things unfortunately and because we've got another big game on Saturday which the Cheshire will be a massive test you know they're a good side they're probably the best side since Christmas so you know it's a big, another big test for us and uh, for the Taunton fans who will look at the table tonight unfortunately we are we are at the bottom of the table at the moment what, what do you have this to say this is two games it's two games nothing's won in August nothing's won in September okay you know we've all been all of us have been pampered for the last few years, you know, so we've got no right to go out and win, just turn up here because we're torn, you know, so we have to apply ourselves. So just got to keep, stick with us, back with us. There's enough good players there. They, they've done it over the last two or three years and we'll be okay, you know, but yeah, there's one or two things need sorting out. There's one or two people need to be told in known certain terms, but you know, we've, we've been, we've had a good run, you know, you know, and sometimes football is cyclical. There's no doubt about it, but you know, it won't be through for hard work on my part and the rest of the management team. And uh, obviously, having Ryan Brett as a, a return onto the pitch was uh, obviously it wasn't a fair yeah, fairy a tale boost. return. Yeah, but no, it's a, bit, it's a big boost to get Ryan back in amongst it. Like you know, we we probably brought him on a little bit quicker and sooner than we wanted to, but you know, needs must at times, and, and that was that tonight. So you know, but good to have him back around the place. But we won't rush him back too much. You know, we've got to look after him. We want him for the whole of the season. Uh, looking ahead to Chasham, as you said, it's quite a challenging fixture. Obviously, they've won their first two games, first being a, a good win away at. Yeah, I had them watched last night. Salisbury. You know, I, I got a good report on them from last night. And uh, um, listen, they're, they're, they're strong. They're very, very strong. Physically strong, big side, good Southern Premier side. They were when we went when we beat them 1 0. So, yeah, big test. And, uh, you know, we need to see some a reaction, a few characters on Saturday. Well, hopefully, we can uh, be a Saturday with smiles on our faces. Uh, hopefully, back Absolutely. with a win. Keep and uh, it's good chatting to you again, Rob. Cheers, mate.